Good evening all. <clears throat> this is take number three. I've changed phones. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to do. I'm using uh, a 5SE, so the picture may not be as good as the 6S, um, but um, it's better than having a dodgy sound. So here we go. Um, as promised, I'm uh, doing a video of a non-Cuban cigar. This is a this is an Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. It's a Pyramides, which is a 6x52, or torpedo as you might call it. And I have to say that uh, so far it's excellent. A really, really nice smoke. First of all, the construction. Construction is absolutely spot on. A perfect draw. Nice little bit of resistance, just the right amount. Um, enough so that you don't feel like you're pulling on fresh air. So really, really nice. Um, smoke output is excellent. Uh, it's an attractive looking cigar. Um, it's not the oiliest of wrappers, but there is a little bit of a sheen on there. Um, <coughs> it's uh, well packed, but still an excellent draw. I'm just going to turn one of the lights off. Um, it's a 6x52. Oh, I might have said that already. Uh, so construction-wise, it's um, excellent. I can't really fault it. Um, the tobacco, um, I believe the filler, I haven't got any notes with me, but I believe the filler is Honduran and Nicaraguan, Cuban seed. And the wrapper as well is Cuban seed, but I don't remember where the wrapper is from. Um, I don't know. I assume it's, um, well, it's Drew Estate, wherever they're based. So, flavor-wise, it starts off very creamy, very nice, a little bit woodsy, a little bit to like uh, the, the aromas that you get in a forest like a bit of pine and a little bit of wood, a little bit of must, a little bit of uh, mulch that you get on the ground, that kind of thing. So it's a really nice, not quite floral, but sort of leaning towards that kind of vegetally kind of uh, flavor. It's creamy, it's buttery, um, and it's a little bit of tang in there. Um, quite mild to start with, as you'd expect in the beginning of a cigar. So really all round, very, very good. I'm certainly detecting the Cuban seed in that. It's, it's definitely got a Cuban-esque start. So it's a pyr Pyramides. And I don't know if you can see it, but the I cut the top on a bit of a slant, which generally on uh, torpedoes is a good idea from what I understand. And uh, I assume that's because if you were to cut a pyramid straight off, you lop off the top, then you're only getting exposed to as much tobacco as you cut off, whereas on an angle, you're getting more. And because it's uh, tapered, um, rather than cutting lower down, you can cut from higher up, but just cut it at an angle and you will get as much exposure to tobacco as if you would if you were cutting it lower down. And if you cut it lower down, you're in danger of uh, unraveling the wrapper. So um, definitely, it makes a lot of sense uh, to, to cut it at an angle. I have seen um, some people cutting um, a little bit of the top off and then putting in a V-cut. It's the same principle, but to me, this works better. Nice ash, stacking nicely, um, very nice. This doesn't have your typical non-Cuban, um, New World kind of uh, flavour profile. This is very, very smooth, very creamy, very impressed so far. We'll catch you a bit later on. We're well into the second third, over probably around the halfway mark of the smokable part of the uh, cigar. And um, it's still impressive. Um, I would say that the front running flavor is that uh, vegetally type of flavor. There's some sweetness in there. There's a little bit of coffee, a um, bit of tang still, um, but it's, it's really very tasty.
there's no harshness still quite mild um, I don't remember what this is rated at whether it's mild or medium or medium to full I can't remember construction remains uh, excellent good smoke output the draw still perfect burn line is it's okay it's not it's nothing fantastic but who cares about the burn line as long as it's not a disastrous burn line which is impeding the smoke otherwise I don't put too much uh, uh, focus on that it's got good ash I've only ashed it because I'm in the car I don't want it spilling all over me um, but the ash holds on quite well it's not flaky which is a good sign good long leaf in there um, so all round um, so far a very impressive cigar um, the only difference I would say perhaps between this and the Cuban cigar is perhaps the evolution of the cigar perhaps the Cuban cigar has more of a of an evolution but this one has been good from the off so perhaps you know that's an advantage in this particular case because you've got more of a good thing all the way through um, it really depends on what your mood is like whether you want to have that three stage experience or whether you're just happy motoring along enjoying a good flavor in a cigar there's a little bit of a a, a, a hint to of, of tea perhaps when I talk about that vegetable flavor that's perhaps a, a better way of describing it like a very mild tea I'm getting a little bit of almond paste in there as well The good thing about when you have a cigar which has got good construction you know that it's got good construction when the cigar does not heat up firstly because it's been rolled well the draw is good so you're not having to tug on it which would heat up the cigar and also obviously depends on your cadence if you're smoking too hard too fast then obviously you're going to heat the cigar up but if you want to get the most out of it in terms of flavor you need to keep the temperature at a, a reasonable level and you can tell when it's getting too hot you can tell it as you're drawing in it's warm um, and you don't want to be getting warm smoke into your mouth really um, you can tell that if you do get that then just slow down a little bit perhaps um, leave it for a two or three minutes initially just to let it cool down and then when you draw just only draw once every minute or so something like that um, not, don't just keep chugging at it because that will just destroy the flavors very 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 good cigar so far very impressive yeah, to be uh, emotional um, it's the last point to, to, if you want to join me um, the, the, I'm not sure we want to hi everybody I hope everybody's well I've uh, just finished a uh, job this evening And I'm just finishing this Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. Final third, well into the final third. And um, I have to say that um, I'm very, very impressed with this uh, cigar. I have to be honest, if, if I was to have a smoke like this with these flavors from a Cuban cigar, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be disappointed um, and that's praise indeed for a non-Cuban cigar I don't mean that uh, in a negative way and, uh, I mean that very positively um, generally speaking Cuban cigars achieve a particular flavor uh, richness and tang and nuance which um, the non-Cubans somehow don't seem able to achieve and this one hasn't achieved it either but it's as close as anything that I've had non-Cuban plus it has the advantage of being non-Cuban in respect of construction Cuban cigars can't get anywhere near non-Cubans in terms of consistency 
yes, you can get some cigars which are fantastically constructed from Cuba. To give you some examples, the Trinidad Topes, the Cohiba um, Robustos Supremos. You do find that the more expensive cigars, they do take more care in Cuba. Um, I guess, uh, you know, if people were paying 40, 50, 60, 100 pounds for a cigar and they weren't able to smoke it, there'd soon be some serious uh, repercussions for sales of Cuban cigars. So the, the really high end uh, sort of, of cigars in Cuba tend to be better constructed. The lower end you get, I think less care is taken personally. I don't know if, you know, obviously not intentionally, but it's just a fact of life. And uh, so overall, in terms of consistency though, in terms of uni universal consistency, Cuban cigars don't get anywhere near uh, non-Cuban cigars in terms of construction. And even now, where uh, Havana has definitely improved on the, um, on the construction and the consistency and reliability of their cigars, they still, in my view anyway, and in my experience, they're still nowhere near as good as uh, the non-Cubans. Anyway, coming back to this cigar. As I said, construction is fantastic. The flavors have been very good throughout. Pros and cons, you know, you've got, as I said, you don't have the evolution of a cigar, of a Cuban cigar. So that's ha that has an advantage that you have good flavors from beginning to end, if it's a good cigar disadvantage it gets a bit monotonous and that's certainly been the case with this cigar but not to an extent where it's put me off um, I'm you know really so impressed with this it's got good flavors there's no harshness about it unfortunately I have no idea how old this cigar is um, I where did I buy this from um, I bought this from um, I think I bought it from Milan Tobacconist in the US. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I got, uh, I might be wrong. I definitely bought some um, Olivia, Olivia, Oliva Siri Milanios uh, and that I enjoyed very much. I've still got another one of those. Um, I do actually want to pick up some Siri V uh, Bellicoso, um, which has uh, made number three in the cigar aficionado list and um, the Serie V's generally have been a very successful uh, enterprise all around and the, uh, the Melanios especially it's been a while since I've had a Serie V a regular Serie V so I want to try those again um, I really have to look up the list I haven't really looked at it I only just saw Tim uh, from the what was Tim and Bradley. I don't know if any of you guys who are my subscribers um, are familiar with the Tim and Bradley um, channel and that has, uh, if you haven't and you're just coming to it, it's now finished. Um, they've just separated Tim and Bradley. Uh, Tim has gone off to a new venture and Bradley has left. They have a um, um, Basically, they had a cigar channel, TNT Cigars, I think it's called. They, they basically um, do a regular review kind of uh, uh, cigar reviews on their channel, and they do deals. They, they sell online, um, and they do a lot of uh, special deals with cigars. Um, and they, they, I've not managed to buy anything from them so far. I don't know how well it works in terms of them sending overseas. I've been in touch with Tim. Um, in the last day or two just to ask him that because he's setting up a new website now he's setting up a brand new company a whole new venture and I've asked him to keep uh, UK smokers in mind um, so he said he would but uh, we'll see how that goes I've talked to him also about packaging things in terms of sending them in a way which um, is suitable for UK customers to receive them nudge nudge wink wink say no more So that might be something uh, worth looking at in the future. If anything does come of it, I will uh, talk about it on the channel. 
But if you want to watch some entertaining guys talking about cigars, search Tim and Bradley. Um, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. They're just so entertaining. They've also got um, a uh, girl who works there in the warehouse. I've forgotten her name now, but she's also fantastic. Um, they really, they had this chemistry between them, which was just amazing. Um, and they're just a fantastic on-screen presence. It's a shame that they've split up, but you know, that's life. Um, there we go. So, um, so I saw that Tim uh, did a, a review on his new channel. Um, I think it's called Daily Cigars or Daily Smokes, something like that. Um, so he did a review on the the uh, Bellicoso, the Siri V. So that's kind of given me an appetite to try it again. Uh, I'm waffling now, but that's uh, there we go. But it was worthwhile just to let you know about the Tim and Bradley channel. Very entertaining. Um, okay, so this cigar flavors um, right from the off. This had a, a very like a tea essence kind of flavor going on. Um, it was uh, sweet, creamy, smooth, buttery in the beginning. Um, I would say after about halfway down the cigar, it's become a little bit more monotonous. That tea flavor is still there, a little bit of that sweetness. Not as sweet as before, but still a very pleasant cigar all the way through. No fireworks, no whiz bang, just a nice flavored, I would say mild in the beginning, moving on to close to medium for the rest of the cigar. Um, very awesomely constructed. You know, really can't fault the construction. Um, burn line, as I said, not important, but hasn't been super fantastic, but you know, not disastrous either. Um, so I would, um, I haven't done any uh, ratings for a while now, but I'll, I'll give it some marks out of 10 as I do. Uh, please don't put too much uh, credence to these uh, markings. They're just uh, uh, the ramblings of an inexperienced, smoker but nevertheless um, I would say construction I would say uh, I would give it a 10 if, if not for the burn line and also it's something I haven't mentioned yet but I will mention it is the wrapper is very 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 thin the, the wrapper um, and you know if you just happen to nick it with your fingernail it, um, it tears very easily um, other than that, you know, and the, and the burn line, I would have given it a 10, but I'm going to say a 9. But in terms of the mechanical construction, I would give it a 10. In terms of the smokeability part of the construction, I would give it a 10. If I was splitting out the construction, I would say 10 for the smokeability of the construction and 9 for the aesthetics of the construction. Um, in terms of flavour, I'd give it um, seven and a half to an eight. It's very, very nice, very easy going, uh, but you know, no fireworks, nothing, nothing amazing and spectacular. But just a lovely, easy going cigar that you could smoke anytime. You could happily smoke this in the morning as well uh, with your coffee. And um, so I would say a seven and a half to an eight on the flavour. In terms of strength. I would say, as I said, starts off as a mild cigar, moves over to somewhere between mild and medium, no more than that. Um, so an overall mark, um, I'd give this, I'd say an eight to an eight and a half out of 10, maybe even pushing on to nine in terms of uh, non-Cuban cigars. A very, very, very nice cigar. Um, and I would definitely recommend it. I don't remember the price, um, but I would say that if it's, anywhere around the seven or eight dollar mark or less it's a bargain uh, especially the uh, pyramides which is uh, six by 52 so you're getting a decent amount of cigar so if it's anywhere around the seven eight dollar mark i would say grab them it's it's a good deal and, and they're worth every penny if it's 10 plus maybe not so much uh, in the uk i would imagine this would sell for about 18 or 20 pounds so if you for a uk smoker to buy it in america it's certainly uh, worthwhile investment investment is the wrong word I wouldn't expect any returns on it it's certainly a worthwhile purchase somehow or other the um, uh, the non-cubans don't tend to uh, accumulate value like the Cubans not most of them anyway anyway so that's been the uh, 
Herrera Steli from Jewel State. Very, very nice cigar. I recommend it. Catch you on the next one.